Ants, those tiny insects we see every day, have fascinating lives. Although we often don't notice them, their organization and behavior are amazing. From the way they build their ant hills to how they communicate with each other, ants are truly incredible. A fundamental part of their life cycle is their nuptial flights. These flights are spectacular events that mark the beginning of a new generation of ants. In these flights, the new queens and males, both winged, leave the nest to mate. This moment is crucial as it determines the future of the colony. Nuptial flights are essential for the reproduction and expansion of ants. During the flight, males and queens meet and mate in the air, which guarantees the genetic diversity of the colony. They allow colonies to expand to new areas and avoid genetic problems. After mating, the queens look for a suitable place to establish a new colony where they will lay their first eggs and begin to build their empire. In Canada, these flights usually begin in early spring when the weather is favorable. Summer is the perfect season for winged ants to embark on their journey, taking advantage of optimal weather conditions. Each type of ant has its own characteristics and flight patterns. Some species fly in large swarms, while others prefer to do so in small groups. Some fly during the day and others at night. Let's explore some of the most common genera in Canada. Lassius, Camponotus, Tetramorium, Myrmica. Each of these species has its own unique behavior and adaptations that allow them to thrive in different environments. Prinolepsis and Solenopsis. These ants also play an important role in the ecosystem, contributing to soil aeration and pest control. Learning more about them helps us appreciate the complexity and importance of these small but mighty insects. Tetramorium ants or pavement ants are very common in cities. They are known to make their nests in cracks in walls, under rocks, or in the grass. Their nuptial flies usually occur between May and July. They are small, light brown to black in color. The workers are all the same size. They adapt to different environments, from forests to cities. Camponotus ants are known as carpenter ants because they build their nests in dead or decaying wood. They are the largest ants in Canada. Their nuptial flights occur in the spring, in this case, from April to late July, usually after the rain. There is a big difference in size between the workers, the, 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 the um, workers. They are usually black, but some have reddish tones. They live mainly in forests, but may approach wooden structures in search of food. Solenopsis ants are small and dark brown to black. Some, like the Solenopsis molesta, are known as thief ants because they often enter the nests of other species and steal food. Their nuptial flights occur from June to August. They are very small and difficult to differentiate from other ants. They tend to form large colonies with many queens. They adapt to various environments, including urban, agricultural, and natural areas. Myrmica rubra ants, or European fire ants, are known for their adaptability. They usually build their nests in the ground under rocks or in rotten logs. Their nuptial flights occur throughout much of the year, usually on warm, humid days. This species usually flies from February to April. They are reddish brown to dark brown in color and have hair-like spines on their thorax. 
they are found in a variety of habitats including meadows, forests, and gardens. They are also known as winter ants because they often forage, even in the cold months. A unique and perfect adaptation for a Canadian ant. Lassis ants are common in North America. This species is aggressive and readily attacks other ants. They adapt to a wide range of habitats from forests and meadows to urban areas such as gardens. Their nuptial flights usually occur in their different species from June to September. Fire ants of the Solenopsis genus are known for their painful and potentially dangerous sting. These small but aggressive creatures can cause serious allergic reactions in some people making them a significant threat in areas where they have become established. Their sting is not only extremely painful, but can also cause swelling, redness, and in severe cases, anaphylaxis. It is important to be cautious when encountering these ants. Although not native to Canada, they have been detected in southern regions due to the expansion of their habitat. These invasive ants have managed to adapt to different environments, allowing them to survive in colder climates. Their nuptial flights usually occur on warm, humid days after rain, generally from July to September. During these flights, winged ants mate and establish new colonies, contributing to their rapid spread. They are reddish-brown in color and tend to be aggressive. Colonies do not require a long season of high temperatures to complete their life cycles. In most habitats, habitat selection appears to be determined by a balance between sufficient insulation to complete their life cycle and maintaining high humidity within the nest in the ground. The types of ants mentioned show significant differences in terms of size, color, habitat, and time of nuptial flights. Each species has developed unique characteristics that allow it to adapt to its specific environment. While Camponoto stand out for their size and preference for forests, where they build their nests in fallen logs and under leaf litter, Tetramorium adapt to urban life, finding refuge in cracks in buildings and under sidewalks. Solenopsis, with their small workers, can go unnoticed, moving quickly among low vegetation. Unlike the striking Myrmica, which are easily recognizable by their vibrant color and aggressive behavior. The flight season also varies significantly between species, with Camponotus and Tetramorium starting in spring, taking advantage of warmer temperatures and abundant resources, and Marmicas and Laceus in late summer, when conditions are optimal for the dispersal of their queens and males. These differences reflect the diversity of strategies that ants have developed to survive and reproduce in different environments. From dense forests to bustling cities, each species has found its niche, demonstrating an incredible capacity for adaptation uh, and evolution. Observing these behaviors not only helps us better understand ants, but also appreciate the complexity and beauty of nature.